Hey there, it's Mr. Cahoon. Today we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to take a bitmap image and convert it into a vector image so that we can cut or engrave with one of our, one of our machines. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. Okay, here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I've created a new file and the first thing we need to do is search for an image that we can drop into here. Now you could design this image by yourself but we'll go ahead and pull one off Google. I'm going to select this image. And just a note, when you're selecting these images, you need to use simple words like logo, clip art, silhouette, and black and white is preferable because that will be much easier to convert into a vector that the laser or the CNC can then look at and engrave easily. So let's select this image right here we're going to click save image as the higher quality the image the better this is going to work we'll go ahead and save it and we will drag and drop into Adobe Illustrator okay here's our image so right now you can see if I zoom in this is a bitmap image it's made of pixels and it's pretty poor quality we need to convert it into vectors instead of dots and pixels it's going to be lines so that the machines can follow that so we will click on image trace this may be located over on a side panel depending on which version of illustrator you're using but look for the button that says image trace it converts it to a vector now if I zoom in you can see everything is perfectly clean and straight and this may distort your image. If that's the case and you don't like it, then there is a button right here that says Image Trace Panel. We'll click on that, drop this menu down, and we can go ahead and mess, mess with these sliders to get things looking how we want. So you can see maybe it makes, a, makes some slight changes to the image. Once you get it looking how you want, then we'll just exit out of this panel and this image will work however you can see if we drag it off the canvas here there is a lot of white space and that white space is actually a bad thing because the laser is going to see the white and the black and it's going to try to engrave or cut both so we need to get rid of the white space to do that we'll click on expand again this may be over on their side menu expand and to open this up so that we can edit it, we will double click. And now we should be able to single click to select the pieces that we want to delete. Hit delete on your keyboard. And for mine, there's only one. You may have multiple sections or pieces that you need to take care of depending on your image. Double click off of it when you're done. And we can drag the whole thing back onto our canvas. And I'm gonna to need to resize this. When you're resizing, you'll notice it changes the proportions of my image. I don't want that. So to avoid it, we can hold down Shift and it will keep it proportional. If you hold down Alt as well, it will keep it centered and we can reposition it. Okay, now we have our image. The last thing you need to do, if we're cutting and engraving on the laser, say we want to engrave this and then cut it out, we need to add some sort of border in a different color. So in this case, I'm just gonna use one of the shapes. If you go up here, hold down, you can select one of these shapes. I'll choose the ellipse tool, and I'm gonna drag an ellipse over this. If you want a perfect circle, hold down Shift. It keeps a perfect circle. Otherwise, just drag it out the size you want. Okay, you'll notice it filled it in with white. We don't want that, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click this arrow to swap the fill and the stroke. So now we have a white stroke and no fill. We can change that stroke by double clicking on the stroke. I'm gonna change it to red. Again, remember, this has to be a different color than your image in order for the laser to cut and engrave. We can assign a power to engrave, and we can assign, assign a different power to cut. So once you get that how you like, we are finished. 
By the way, there's an option if you want to be more detailed with your border. You could use the pen tool here. The pen tool can be used to trace objects. So if I wanted to trace these mountains, kind of get that look, I could click here, click, and I can trace these mountains like this. And when you get to a curve, say we get down here and we want to curve this, I can click and drag and I can change the angle of that curve. You can kind of see how that works. We can change that. Okay, and if you get to a point, let's say I don't like how that was, I can control Z, undo. I can also go back, let's say I want this to be a point now and it's trying to curve it, I can click back on that node and it lets me return to a point. Okay, we can go ahead and finish that. Now that could be my border, I could cut the shape of the mountains out there. We're going to go ahead and undo that and we'll just stick with our oval and we'll come up here, save. This will save the Illustrator file, but then if you want to send it to the laser to cut or engrave, we're going to have to click File, Save As, and we will choose Adobe PDF. Okay, Adobe PDF, hit Save, and now that file, go ahead and click it again, that file should be ready to engrave or cut with the laser. Alright, thanks for watching and keep creating.